The beautiful Antiope, daughter of King Nycteus of Boeotia, caught the eye of the god Zeus. Zeus, then, assuming the form of a satyr, ravished the young Antiope, leaving her with child. When Antiope told of Zeus, neither her father, nor her family, nor the rest of Thebes believed her. Alone, she fled the city, straying far over the wilderness until coming to Sikuon, where she met Epopeus and became his bride. In Thebes, King Nycteus was ailing, abandoned by his daughter. He asked his brother and successor, Leucos, to recover the young Antiope and punish Epopeus. Loyal to his brother, the newly crowned Leucos pursues his task, urged on by his wife Dirce, a devotee of the cult of Dionysus. Antiope is soon captured by Dirce and forced into servitude. But on her return to Boyatia as a captive, Antiope gives birth to two twins, Amphion and Zethos, at Eleuthere, near a cave enshrined to Dionysus. They are found by a herdsman and raised as his own. There, by the cave, they become young men, Zethos, an ironsmith, and Amphion, a musician. The cave was their home, but sacred to many. dominion over this place. May you grant me good fortune. And my master who lives on the plain of Oinoe, with his pastures bordering Eleuthere here. I call the one Zethus, for his mother sought a place of comfort for his birth. The other, born by the roadside, I call Amphion.
time inspiration. Time. Love and sweet praise. You're just starting trouble with that thing. It's idle. It loves wine. It's it neglects affairs. You neglect things which should concern you. You've been naturally endowed with a strong, noble spirit, yet you lay around like a woman. Where's your sense of right and wrong? In this world, a man must learn to be persuasive. To participate in deliberations. To offer good counsel on the behalf of others. Well, and, if necessary, keep bravely close to the shield's hollow. To fight. And this? Is this wisdom? An art that takes a naturally robust man and softens him A man's nature is lost and gone when he is too overcome by song. Throw this away and pick up a weapon! That thing is useless. Rather, live a soldier's life. Be a provider. Be a ruler. Cease all idle folly and turn instead to the rhythms of work. Make that your song and art, and finally you may gain some good sense. Digging. Plowing the land. Watching over flocks. Leave those finer arts of yours to others. After all, can a home be furnished with song? Whoever keeps himself so busy, when it can be easily avoided, is a fool. Why? When you can live a perfectly full life without business. There's no surer friend than a friend that can leave you be. And there is no better citizen than one who would spare you his good counsel. Leave off praising the industrious spirit. I have love for neither soldier nor city leader with that much ambition. It is the earth that gives birth to all things. And it's the earth that will take them back again. Such is the life of us wretched mortals. A man is neither completely fortunate nor unfortunate. One day he prospers with the God's blessings, the next day he fails. Fret all you wish, but it makes your prosperity no more secure. Why bother then to fret? If someone has good fortune and possesses a livelihood but never pursues the finer things in his house, I never call him blessed with prosperity, merely a custodian of his own wealth. No, thank you. You're wrong to fault my weakness, my femininity, my laziness, my judgment sound. 
My judgment is strong. It's judgment that manages the city, that serves the house well, and serves as the greatest resource in times of war. One wise mind defeats many hands. And what could be worse than mindlessness with a mob of bodies behind it? No. I'd rather sing and stay wise without stirring up the city's ills. In fact, inside the herdman's dwelling, I saw a pillar festooned with ivy for the god of celebration. Dirke, along with her fellow celebrants, had come to Eleutheria to honor Dionysus. But Dirke, now queen, had grown cruel and grandiose. She had forgotten herself. She was slanderous and abusive. She tormented, above all, Antiope, who was now her slave. Her behavior, especially in the presence of the cave and shrine, was an offense to Dionysus, who had watched over Amphion and Zethos. Her fellow worshippers, as well, were growing wary of Dirke's outrages. Very soon, they would turn against her. Do we not see how great and evil the condition of slavery is? Oh, how completely God has marked out slaves as an inferior estate. But how close at times, service and servitude. Man, beware! Mankind has many troubles, strangers. I realize what I suffer, and it's no small misery. For not knowing that one is in trouble has a certain pleasure and is a blessing. Young man... Speeches may be well phrased but false. They can overwhelm the truth through the beauty of their words. But one must listen carefully for the voice of right. The man who overcomes through eloquence is clever. But truth will outlive clever men. Many men experience this problem. Despite their good sense, they are generally unwilling to obey their own judgment. Their hearts are overwhelmed by their friends. I was then brought back again, and gave birth. If I... Or my two sons were neglected or forgotten by the gods, perhaps this too has its reasons. Out of the great number of mortals, some must be fortunate, others unfortunate. Though I never learned to teach moderation, one must be wary of excess, of women, and always guard oneself against envy. Am I to believe that Zeus imitated the form of a beast and came into your bed like a man? Still unaware that Antiope was his own mother, Amphion felt a fondness for this stranger and a growing rage at her enslavement by Dirke, who now represented for him all that was lost and corrupted in the search for power. If I were you, I would leave this place willingly before your companions drag you away by the hair. 
Unlike you, they understand that you offend Dionysus. You are no longer living in the luxury of Hercules Palace. Nor are you under a friendly roof. You, who have ranged in open fields with birds, draped in fawn skin. These sacred emblems are not yours to have. No, my future is clear and fitting. I've gone too far. I will die nobly, in a way befitting a woman of high birth. But let no one who is a slave touch me. At least I die a free woman. Whoever bears their fate with equanimity will endure the most wretched sufferings and be remembered. Led by Amphion and Antiope, they set upon Queen Dirke. She is tied to bulls and torn to pieces. With Dirke dead, Antiope and her twin sons flee. The new king Leucos hears of her escape, but not yet of his wife's death. With the royal guard of Thebes, he makes his way toward Eleuthera. If Zeus is really our father, and sorry to us, he will save us and punish our enemies. Things have come to such a pass that even if we wanted to, we could not escape penalty for Durkin's blood. Here it is. If we stay, our fortunes come to this. Either we must die before daylight fades, or triumph over our enemies by action. And as for you, who dwells in heaven's bright expanse, don't just lie with a woman for pleasure and not help your children. This is dishonorable! Help us. Your family. That we could go after our quarry successfully and trap a devious man. Trap a devious man. Yes, trap a devious man! <laughs> Yes, a trap. This cave, but who? From which country? Show me. I'm so glad at last I'm safe. Peace will soon return. You mean this house is not safe, fellow? Something must be done, though I know those men are as good as dead. And since you know this, we shall make good arrangements. Arrangements? What possibly do you have to arrange? Two strong, noble men, you and another, should suffice. How many in number, in fact, are these strangers? One or two, they have no weapons. Keep the armed watch on the cave surrounding. If you're going to burst free, seize them. 
I want to take Nick Deuce's daughter with my own hands. Make fast work of these strangers. God willing. What? No! Guards! Come quick! Help! 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 The gods sooner ensnare men with their own noose and strength than by the art of fellow men. Do you hear? He calls on the city for aid in fear of bloodshed, but justice lay waiting only to seize him unawares. The house is loud with shouting, it cries a song of death. So I shall be killed by you three. All my allies absent. Allies? Have you not thought of your wife, who was first among the dead? My wife? Dead? Further disaster if what you say is true. Very. Torn and dragged apart by beasts. <laughs> so whose hands? Yours? The three of you? I demand to know the truth. And you're welcome to it. Yes, it was us that caused her death. You've killed her, escaped, gotten the better of me. Who are you, strangers? You're not the slaves I took you for. You will soon find out when you take your place among the dead. Stop, Lord Amphion. I am Hermes. By proclamation of Zeus, I bring instructions. Lucos, hear me, these are the sons of Zeus, and now you are their servant, and must willingly give them sovereignty over Camus' land. Install them at Thebes. Lucos, when you bear your wife and place her upon the pyre, gather up the substance of the wretched woman's body, and from the fire throw her bones into Ares' spring, so that its outflow may be called Dirke, to mark her name. And you sons of Antiope, when you may enter Thebes without pollution, are to go and build by the Isthmus River a complete city with seven gated openings. Zethus, you will provide a stout defense against its foes. And Amphion, hands armed with a lyre, you will sing the praise of the gods. You will make the work lighter for the builder's hands and move them. But you must hasten. The god has sent me to tell you the nature of his wishes. Well, Zeus. You daily bring about the unexpected. You have shown us these follies of ours. So rash to protect city, family. We didn't believe her. But you were here, living. Time the Revealer has discovered me to be deceived. Go now, rule this land, taking Cadmus and Scepter. Zeus accords you this, and I with him. Obedient to Hermes, I shall throw my wife into Ares' spring, after her funeral, so that she may unite with these land springs. I end my feuds, and what was done before me. Yeah.